Hello world and welcome. Today we are gonna look for how to set the swap space for your JSON. So I already logged into my JSON, so you can do that right now, or if you are on the GUI mode, just pop up a console. So what is swap file? What it does is if you are running out of the memory, then you can use some part of your hard drive like old SSD or whatever whatever storage as a like virtual memory so pre like preventing from running out of memory but it is much slower I found that JSON has 8 gigabytes of the memory that's shared between CPU and the GPU so that's quite enough but just for the safety I'd like to allocate some of the swap files so let's dive into it. So before we use any of the space in the disk, let's do df minus h. What it does is you can check how many gigabytes left on your machine. So currently on my device, I used 8.8 .8 gigabytes and there are 18 gigabytes left. Let's go to allocate the soft swap space. So sudo allocate minus L and it's like how many gigabytes you want I'm gonna do the 1.5 gigabytes and the place I'm gonna make into the loot and the name is swap file so it will ask for the password and if you see the if you ls loot then you can see the swap file here so let's the swap file is gonna be 1.5 gigabytes. Okay, so now the swap file is 1.5 gigabytes. Then another sudo chmod 600, and then swap file. All right, and the next one is sudo make swap mk swap on the swap file. So it's a setting up the swap space version 1, space is 1.5 gigabytes, no label, UUID, you don't have to know that. And then sudo swap on on the swap file. And now, now it's on. And if you write free dash m, that's like check the memory. Like your memory has 8 gigabytes and the swap memory has 1.5 gigabytes and nothing is used currently and everything is free. So like if you just do up to here, if you reboot your machine, they will not use swap, this swap space as a swap space. So you need to make uh, the system to automatically reload this swap space. So how how to do that is sudo vi etc and f step. So this is the file that makes the system to able to automatically reroll the files, the swap space. So swap file known and swap. Zero, zero. You don't have to worry about what, what this means, but it just works. So save that and exit. Then after you reboot your system, the space will be automatically rolled in. So let's check if that works. Okay, now the system is on. All right, so you can see here, the system automatically loaded the swap file. And then if you see the swap pinnies, that's like how likely the system's gonna use the swap file. You can see from here. Let's go to the etc. Oh no, that's actually pro and system and virtual memory. So here's lots of things, but we want to see the swap pinnies. So it's a 60. 
like if it's close to the zero it means the system is not gonna use the swap memory when they don't need to and if it's close to the hundred it means like the system's gonna use the swap file anytime they can so the default for the Ubuntu is the 60 and I found that 60 is not bad actually like uh, they they don't really use it a lot and so I found that that's fine for me so I just leave it as a 60 you can choose like you can always to do vi swap in is and change the number here depends on your preference all right thank you for watching and see you next time